Happy Halloween, everybody! The Speed of Kurt here. And I'm going to be doing a blind playthrough of the Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope. I've been kind of excited for this one because I watched playthroughs of Until Dawn and Man of Medan. So now that there's a, a new one coming, now that, the, bleh, now that there's a new one out, um, and I managed to avoid any big spoilers or anything, I wanted to play it for myself. And it just so happened that it released on Halloween. Which means I have been given the opportunity to play it on the best day of the year for it. So let's boot up the game. And yeah, we'll see what happens. The only, the only things I've seen are the trailer and a couple of still images um, from cutscenes that didn't really spoil anything. So, I'm going in basically blind, yeah. Spooky. Ah, oh, of course, the logo. <laughs> it's a skull, which is part of a skeleton. And as we all know, and as we all know, skeletons are spooky because they rattle. And you'll be in the dark at night, and you'll suddenly hear a rattling sound, and then you'll realize it's a skeleton. There is a skeleton in the room, and you can't see it because it's too dark, but you can hear the rattling. All right. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to go close the blinds and turn off the light to get the atmosphere all set up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The curtains are closed, the light is off, and I am ready. End user legal agreement. Yeah, nobody reads these. Okay, adjust the slider until the left image is invisible, the middle image is barely visible, and the right image is clearly visible. Well, these things are never really accurate, so I'm gonna put it at 40. The left one isn't quite invisible, but it always they always want you to make it so dark that you can't see anything. Anything at all, so that sounds about right to me. Alright, let's go to the settings first, see what's up there. Oh man. <laughs> Controls. Camera aiming normal. Yeah, I don't think I need to change any of that. Display. Brightness. HDR. Right, this screen doesn't ha isn't HDR compatible. Audio and language. Preset. Headphones. Yes. Sidebar. Uh, subtitles. All. Uh, toggle the sidebar information panel on or off during interactions. Yeah, um, text language English, audio language English, yes. Yes. Okay, accessibility. Single action prompt. Set all quick time events to only use the same prompt. Off. Hold input to complete repeated actions. Um, yeah. I find that tapping the button isn't really actually that fun. Because it's it's an all or nothing kind of thing. You either succeed or you don't. And it's never challenging enough to make it fun. Which is understandable because not everyone can press the button that fast. Um, disable QTE timeout. Off. Dyslexia font. No. 
Subtitle background opacity. Do I get a preview? Um, I'll set it to 25. Just to be safe. Subtitle text size. 1920. A nice round 20. Subtitle color. Enable per character subtitle colors, yes. Choice text size, I'll leave that at the default. Sub choice text size. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at the default. There we go. Data analytics. Whatever. Yeah, I'll enable it. Why not? Why not? Okay. Bonus features, collectibles, play alone, don't play. Okay, I'm going to be playing on my own. So, here we go. The story of Little Hope. Okay, another menu. New story. A diner, okay. Spooky little diner. I have a bottle of Powerade here, so I'm gonna stay hydrated. What's this bloke doing? Mate, what are you doing? What, what are you doing out here? Why were you at this diner? Why are you driving a bus? Maybe he's a bus driver. I mean, he is driving a bus. Something bad is going to happen to this guy, I know it. It's a horror story. Something bad has to happen to this guy. What's this? A cop car. State trooper. Detour. Ooh, detour. That doesn't sound very good. What's the bet that this cop is actually a monster in disguise and it's leading the bus driver into a trap? What seems to be the matter, officer? Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. <coughs> <clears throat> this is not gonna go well. Going through Little Hope is not going to be a fun time. I guarantee it. Is someone a gambler? How long have you been sober? Days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. Oh wait, no, it must be one of those um commemorative oh, chips. It's fine. From AA. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John. 
John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please? Oh, shit. It's a little girl in the road. Classic staple of horror. The, the, the creepy little girl, the classic horror staple. Damn, he totaled the bus. I can't believe you've done this. Ooh, the little girl. A girl stood in the road caused... A girl stood in the road caused the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. Okay. I, okay, I see. Ooh, secret. Ooh, there's a lot of secrets here. Ooh. This is why you don't let your children go outside without a leash. A house. But who's inside? Oh. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory- You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. <laughs> Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's oh, a shit. real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to this. That was very uncomfortable. No way. I wonder if that's the girl who was in front of the bus. Because if it was, she's been a very bad girl. And she needs to sit in the corner for a while. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Uh. Use right stick to choose. Give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. Ooh, I've almost Can't finished my Powerade. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Um, I will say nothing. Christ, you're like a kid possessed. Your head will start spinning around in a minute. Climbing through the window unless that door gets big. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. 
So our record's gonna be, um... A thematic point? I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. It's crawled up his ass. Dennis is being Dennis. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. <laughs> Surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey. Not now, sis. I'm busy. Ooh. Hey, quit acting crazy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sweetheart, I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. That girl ain't right. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Uh... I'm not sure what I should say. <laughs> Nothing. Question a little too tough for you? I'll go find her. Here we go, the interaction tutorial. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. Use right stick to examine. Some interactions reveal secrets. Secrets you find can be viewed in the collections and characters screen. The controller's vibrating a little bit. Does it do that when I'm close to finding a secret? Or is it just because I'm moving the object? Oh, I think it's just because I'm moving the object. <laughs> Oops. Press X in time with the heartbeat. Button may change to triangle during keep calm. <laughs> oh. Triangle. We gotta press triangle now, boys. <laughs> oh man. Playing one of these for myself is a diff definitely a different experience from just watching a playthrough. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Okay, time to check on Tanya. She wouldn't be outside. They'd still be in the house, right? Hmm. Oh! 
Oh, oh Jesus. Son of a bitch clock. <laughs> Fucking clock. Oh, man. God damn. Oh, there's something I can examine. Pupil name, Megan, Megan Clark. Attendance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Number of days present. 30, 29, 27, 30, 29, 28, 173. Days absent, 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 2, 7. Days tardy, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 4, 18. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oops. I meant to... I, I, I meant to, um... There we go. There's something on the back. Wow. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Oh dear. English. C, D, F, D, D, C, D. Reading. B, D, D, B, D, D, D. Writing D F F D F C F spelling D D D C C D D mathematics C B D F D D D history B C F C F F F geography D D D C F D D science D F F E F F F music D D D C A B D art C C C B C D C uh phys ed F F D D F F F and hermec C D D F D D D. All oh, right, of course, it's all written on the side. <laughs> My bad. I was reading it off the page. Explanation of marks: A is ninety-three to one hundred. B is eighty-five to ninety-two. C is seventy-seven to eighty-four. D is seventy to seventy-six. F is below seventy or failure. Huh. Megan is not doing well in school. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! Oh, jeez. What the hell? You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Oh, Hang shit. Up. What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! Oh dear. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Actually, the kettle on the stove is a still um is a still shit. screenshot that Megan. I saw before I played this. Oh shit. This reminds me of that scene in one of the Final Destination movies where the teacher's house the gets set on fire. fire. Oh shit. Oh dear. Megan. Oh no. Damn, that fire's spreading like a bitch. Dennis. Oh Dennis. Mom. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help. It's seeming a little bit to me like Megan locked Tanya out of the house because she didn't want her to die or something like that. Hey, up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help! <laughs> oh shit! Come on, Anthony, save them! Save them, Anthony! Jesus Christ, dude! You're in a burning room full of smoke! Wake the fuck up! Oh dear, that sucks. Oh, uh, I feel like every one of them is gonna die at any moment. Oh! Ouch. That looks like it hurt.
She did not have enough oxygen. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to go into the roaring inferno, aren't I? Oh shit. Megan or Tanya, who do I who do I save? Oh my god, who do I save? I feel like Megan's in more trouble than Tanya. Tanya could probably get down from the from there herself. I'm gonna help Megan. Tanya, hold on! I gotta get Megan out! Megan's in more danger. She's inside the burning house. Fuck me. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my god, that's her. She burned. No way. Oh my god. Wait, what are you going inside for? You could have climbed down the outside. What the hell? <laughs> oh man. Well, that sucks. Oh dear. Why the hell did she go back inside? Ah, uh, and Dennis is gonna slip and fall. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Oh! That is not a nice way to go. God damn. That is not a nice way to go at all. Uh What have you done? Mom, stop! Uh Fuck me. God damn. <laughs> that was kind of intense. So much death. What exactly did I get this trophy for? Well, would it would it would it have been possible to save someone? Is it a trophy for letting everyone die? Could I have saved someone? Could I? Oh man. I am currently not able to plug an internet cable into the PlayStation. So it's going off the Wi-Fi, and currently where the PlayStation is, is not the best spot for a Wi-Fi connection, unfortunately. So, um, this is taking longer than expected. Ah, forget it. I'll just check the trophy off-stream. Oh, man.
It's him. It's this guy. Hello. The storyteller. And welcome. Or whatever he is. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator. The guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Okay. Is there any chance that this tale is the tale of little hope? Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Okay. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Oh, well, that's What's comforting. What has happened? Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. That sounds about right. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice, for what it's worth, is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. That's good to know. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I'm not sure if there's any specific plans on how many entries there will be in the Dark Pictures anthology, but I think it'd be cool if the final one um, took place in the world of the curator, and there was a bit where it's like, um, I tell the stories, not take part in them. But then, he either dies or doesn't die, depending on the player's action or something, I don't know. <laughs> None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. It happened because of that thing but with the long fingers. We can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together, for eternity, in God's loving embrace. Boom! Boom! That is some big thunder. <clears throat> hey! 
Hey, wait a minute. That's the eyebrows guy. It's that actor with the eyebrows. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help. If you can manage it. Hmm. Okay, um... Sensitive, dismissive, flirtatious, hopeful, deceitful, witty... Okay. Andrew and Taylor. John and Taylor. Taylor got irritated with John when asked to help after the bus crash. Okay. Angela. And Daniel. Okay. Whoops. <sighs> I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. Yeah, it's that actor so. with the eyebrows. <laughs> I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> oh, if he's concussed, he shouldn't go to sleep or something like that, I think. <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Daniel. Fuck. Where's my phone? <sighs> oh, and there's Angela. Abrasive, but understanding. Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm alright. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John. Any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. <sighs> Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. W who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <laughs> Successfully grabbed his hand. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Okay. Wait here all night, then. I'll go myself. Hey, bro Bearings. 
Team Taylor. Taylor was indecisive about John's plan to head into town. Okay. He is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? <sighs> guess so. Oof. That's an owie. That's an ouchie, an ouchie owie. All right. <clears throat> I think you should show him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. Well, he does have the most life experience. Let's interact with this sign. Welcome to Abandon Hope. Unreadable. It's little, but it's crossed out. Welcome to Abandon Hope. That's grim. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Ooh! He might be arrogant, but he's got you there. Speed limit 50. Hey! Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. And there's barbed wire across Look the around. top. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Hell yeah. Now. I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. Just because you're a professor, you don't get to call the shots. We're all adults here. Some of us are more adult than others. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh... Looks like he ain't so keen after all. If you got something to say to me, spit it out. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. We have Try some tension. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? 
Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. There haven't really been Get many... Off. No. Oh. We're back here? But this doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. There they go, into the fog, and here they come, right back out. Well, that's, um, a bit annoying. I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Here we go, into the fog. And here we come back out next to that fence, that gate. Ho <laughs> ho! I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay, what do we do? calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. What's with the echo? I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. All coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. How'd you get that bruise? No biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. Ooh. Mysterious. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? 
Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Kitty! Oh, it's a kitty. Wait, where'd it go? I don't like the look of that place at all. Kitty? Maybe they won't ask for ID. Kitty. Oh, I want to pat the kitty. I want to pat the kitty. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. What exactly did you tell her back there? Relax. I said nothing about us. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. What's the deal with that? Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night or we going inside? <laughs> all right, let's see what's in this building. Uh oh. That's not good. Not good. I need an adult! There's someone here. There's actually someone here. I was not expecting that. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped I'm sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Reckless. I could definitely use one. <sighs> you shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm okay. Drinking's all I got left. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone, but it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless, just had one too many. Let's look around. There 
must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. You need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> well, at least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Darts. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple twenty. Dots. <laughs> well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. They will when I'm done. Woo! <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I am the dart master. You did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. All right, let's see. John. Dismissive, reckless, irritable, overbearing, resolute, rational. No secrets yet. Ooh, hang on, I missed one. There, authority figure. John accepted the offer of a drink in the bar from Vince. I wonder how that's gonna affect things. Ooh, the old phone. That doesn't work. Fuck. Well, at least Vince was telling the truth, you know? What's this? A newspaper. Dated October 12, 1979. Don't remember what happened here. Meeting votes for di disincorporation. New round of foreclosures spells end for town. As little hope town hall. Oh Christ, I'm yawning already. Oh man, reading out loud makes me yawn. At Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Raven Den textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest round of bank foreclosures means the last of the town's folk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. With no tax revenue co with no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad. These people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempt to... Okay, I can't keep reading it, apparently. June 6th, 1917. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Oh. That's, uh. Andrew and. Oh, what's his name? Andrew and. Yeah, Andrew and Daniel. Oh, ho, ho, ho. They're identical to some blokes in that picture. Now, I don't want to exit yet. There's something over here. Let's see what o what's over here. It's 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 a law. We got to look at the law. LS 301 80 22 45 17 46. Oh. 
113, 12, 43, 35, 15, 80, 18, 421, 399, 354, 307, 261, 148, 136, 93, 58, 40, 22. RT 477 402 450 392 342 283 243 203 166 111 59 35 49 32 unreadable 20 58 50 59 40 40 42 50 22 31 9 17 This place has some great history Are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to, the, to delinquency and Satanism. Little Hope Town Hall, Tuesday, 6 16 1970. How about that? Hey, Vince. There, oh, I missed it. There. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us. What are you what are you talking about, mate? This lad has certainly had one too many. All right, let's head out. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Bong. Bong. Best of luck. Bong. Hope you find what you're looking for. So many bongs. It just won't stop bonging. Bong after bong after bong. The Black Cat Bar. Oh, well, there was a black cat outside. Oh, I didn't get to pet the kitty. Oh. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? <laughs> Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? Oh, I don't want to let them get out of sight. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. Can you two make an effort to keep up? I'm trying. I'm I was holding the button to walk faster. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That is not good. That was not a good thing. Ooh, there's a light in the distance. Or is that a street light? I'm not sure. Oh, man. Come on. Catch up to the others. Oh, it's a little girl. Right. The girl for who was in front of the bus, right? Yeah. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 
Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. You two, we need to stick close. Oh shit! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Uh-oh. Oh. Altruistic, fearful, uncertain, insecure. What is that? Practical and detached. Hmm. Alright, well they must be this way, because this is this way is where the street light is. Hey, wait for us. What is that? Hey look, a circle. Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Looks like a voodoo doll. Well, that's unsettling. That was Megan. What is your name, sir? Who are you? <laughs> Pray tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay <laughs> I wanted to say something during that but my jaw was just hanging down this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it what exactly happened here? This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? I don't think so. This girl could still be out there, in the fog. Burning up. That girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. 
I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Hmm. How very mysterious. So mysterious. Much mystery. Very curious. Much mystery. Wow. Uh, that escalated rather quickly. Yes, it did. All things are fine in moderation, unless... Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folks seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble, or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be... regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Well, I'm trying to, thank. I'm, I'm trying to find the bus driver, but it's not that easy. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. Oh, another circle. Right. Oh, I can't step into it. I like that they use their phones as torches. I think they did that in Man of Medan. I think. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I watched it play through. But yeah, I like that they're using their phones as torches. That That's very real and believable, because people do that. <laughs> Is that the bus driver? Pictures you discover can be viewed again in, in the collections and... Yikes. Actual, actually yikes. Hang on. Let me just... Let's, let's watch that again. So there's a man who is probably the bus driver with a gun to his head. That is quite... That is ruddy mysterious. That is ruddy mysterious, I'm telling you. You hear that? 
What was that? That doesn't sound good. It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. It doesn't sound very inviting, I can tell you that much. Oh, Jesus. You see that? Uh. <laughs> Big-ass animal. <laughs> I hope so, if not, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that scared me more than it should've. Might get a better view from up there. j j, -j jump scare Alright, let's go get a better view. Ooh, there's something I can look at. Ghost towns of the northeast. <sighs> ghost towns of the northeast. Little hope. The town returning to nature. The abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert, sh desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go, and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is such one town, is one such town, a one factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed, and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Well, that sucks. Hidden Depths Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing, architects of unreadable. Something that starts with an M and has a U, I think? Mus or something? I don't know. Um, unreadable. 10.30pm, 9.30pm Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer, but will her hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, well, I think it's safe to say that the caverns of Hobbs Deep are going to be a place that I end up going later in the game. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? Appreciate you checking in with me. Spooky. What? Fucking gross. Oh, it's gone. That was fucking gross. Uh A girl stood in the road caused the bus driver to lose control. Mary introduced herself to Andrew and Angela. Okay. Excuse me, Andrew. Trying to walk here. Hey, I'm walking here. Wonder how long it'll take to actually get to Little Hope. Well, what are you looking at? What are you looking at, John? What's that? 
Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton, a play by W. M. Rowley, Thos, Decker, and John Ford, performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, 17th of April, 7 p.m. Could this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. I wonder how long it'll be until the next jump scare. Or maybe it won't jump scare me, maybe it'll jump chair me. I do like a good jump chair. It's like a jump scare, but when it's a chair that does the scaring. There's something. Uh. She's gone. She's gone, Jim. I mean, at least the street lights are working. That's some semblance of society that's still around. An old tractor, probably broken because John Deere wouldn't let its owner repair it. The bridge! Wait, is it a bridge or is it the bridge? There's something up ahead! Is it the bridge that we went through? Like, at the start of the detour? Or is it just a bridge? Were there more bridges on the way? Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. And horror games. Am I right? What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. And she's gone. Hold up, I'll come with you. Yeah, I want Angela to not be a bitch, so... Let's make her be nice. Oh, no! Hey! You two! Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <gasps> this is not good. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, I feel like these two are gonna die now. Oh no. Oh dear. Hey. Anyone there? There she is. Hello? Anyone? <gasps> oh, no way. I'm paralyzed by fear. My God. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. What the hell is going on?
What the fuck? Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I saw my own double. Wait, was that lady supposed to look like Angela? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. I didn't even realize she looked like possible? Angela. You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. You can try if you want. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split Those up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Oh Maybe my god, Taylor, you dumbass. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm a John. Uh With Andrew. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? Thank you, Andrew. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. All right, let's go into town. I don't know what I'm going to find in the town, but it's not going to be good. You hear that? Oh, shit! Oh! Oh my god! Thanks! What the hell? Was that Vince? Are we okay oh, here? hi, Emerald! How are you doing? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. All right. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Uh, but happened? yeah, hi Emerald. I hope you're doing well today. What the hell was that? Happy Halloween, by the now way. What? Ooh, something here. Something here. Uh, a symbol on the ground. And, ooh, a stick figurine. Kinda like a Blair Witch kinda thing. Oh, shit. That's not pretty. That is not a pretty foot. And it's gone. What's up? Yo, Angela, what's up? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. 
Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. <laughs> Girls aren't interested in me. <laughs> me, me, IRL. Huh. Um, we have bigger worries right now. We have bigger things to worry about. We do. I'm not sure we're really getting anywhere. We should catch up with John. Yes. Let's let's find John. John. Ugh, the ground is so muddy. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Oh, I mean, knowing the the developers of these games, it's probably not really quite supernatural. Sure what we've seen. But it might be. Makes sense to me. Who knows? Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. Neither do I, Angela. Oh shit! I messed that up. I messed up that button press. It was the kitty! Now I can't pet the kitty! But at least I did a good job at running away. Great job. Glad you made it over. Come on, man. If you hadn't chickened out, I wouldn't have been so shocked myself. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. Someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. I'm telling you, there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. It was the black kitty and I didn't get to Let's pet it. Carry on, I wanted to pet we? the kitty. I mistook the heartbeat minigame for a, a, an, a, a, a quick time event. And I hit X as soon as I this saw the X on the screen. Shot. God there damn must it. be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Alright. Let's look around. There's something here. A rock.
Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> On strike. We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Ah. Piece of cake. You're up next. Ah, and here we have, uh, 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 Daniel and Taylor. Um, New Bearings, The Stranger. Andrew saw Vince ride past on his bike near the covered bridge. Deeper understanding. Angela was intrigued by her look-alike. The little girl. Mary introduced herself to Andrew and Angela. The group saw a girl run from them into the darkness of a covered bridge. Authority figure. John confronted the girl at the covered bridge. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Oh, there's the little girl, I think. I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. Ooh, a sign. I can read it. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Land for sale. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town? And there's another thing over here I can check out. Little Hope Middle School. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Ooh, another sign. What? Little Hope Bridge. Playground. Oh, playground. That sounds like it's going to be creepy. There's the playground, I think. Hold on a minute. There's a house over here, and a path that goes this way. Ah, I would have missed something if I'd just gone to the playground. There's a symbol carved into the tree, a sun, a moon, and some swirlies. I wonder what it means. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, get away from there, guy! Yikes! That was creepy. That was spooky. Spoopy. Full spoop. Halloween. Yeah. Go on the playground. Go on. Th oh, I can't. I can't. I can't play on the playground. Bullshit. I wanted to play on the playground. Oh, there's something over there. I'm gonna see what that is. Here we go, boys. 
It's a drawing! And it's kind of torn up and there's a rock pinning it down on the table. A paper- a, a rock is like- acting like a paperweight. Hmm. How mysterious. <gasps> it's her! Over there! Hey! Are you okay? Let's be concerned. What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. Oh, this is not going to end well. <laughs> oh. oh. talking about get away or you will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you're in there please no let me go i will release you once i'm sure you will not speak of our secret your childish games tire me you will respect me and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! <gasps> what spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Oh. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm thinking that something supernatural is actually happening. And they are appearing to us as, like, ghosts or something. But at the same time, we are like ghosts to them, and there's some sort of uh, paranormal, magical thing that's causing these two time periods to interact. So these people in the present day, so like for example, Daniel in the present day tried to grab that dude's arm, and in the past, that dude felt it as a cold chill on his skin. <sighs> Something weird, really weird is going on here. It's like the present and the past of Little Hope are colliding. Oh, Angela. Oh, and, um... Trying to help the little girl is probably going to lead to her being killed because trying to help her is making it look Both like she's doing hiding. witchcraft. You'll see. So I should probably do nothing the next time she needs help so that people won't suspect her or something like that. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. 
Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Hold on. Was there... Oh no, this is where we came from. Okay, there's no other path for me to go to find some lore or anything like that. Ooh. Here this we must go. Must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Stop the Raven Den factory closure. Over here, look at this. Hope for little hope. The carvers want to close the unreadable factory and sell the land. Unreadable development. Unreadable would result in the unreadable and devastate the community. The union has proposed an offer to save the factory and our town. Please sign our petition to persuade the carver family to accept the union offer and reverse their decision. Ask for details from staff at the post office or town hall. Citizens for little hope and TLUA local 618. Wait, did I read everything? Yeah. Let's just find another way. Well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. I suppose I could have used the... the bin to get in through the window or something. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. Uh-oh, is she gonna die? I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Uh-oh. Ooh. That would have sucked if I missed that. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Alright. Let's have a look. Notice of closure, effective June 28, 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman's Mart wishes to thank all its customers for their support over the years. Yours, J. Schmidt and A. Lash, General Managers. Ooh, hang on a minute. I didn't check the back. Ooh, here we go. Stock to remove. Snacks, crossed out. Magazines, alcohol, crossed out. Firearms, tobacco, gas and oil. Dairy, eggs, produce, bread, dry goods, all crossed out. Cans, electrical goods, miscellaneous. Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, this is spooky. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, god damn it! I made the same mistake again! I pressed the button reflexively without. Uh, I, re I. Out of reflex, I hit X as soon as X appeared on the screen. Hello? Even though. Even though it wasn't. Uh, god damn it. How'd you get here, anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, Ooh trophy. Solid as a rock. I want to know what that is. Maximize Daniel and Taylor's relationship. Well, that was fast. Uh... Where's the other trophy I got? So much death. Completed the prologue. Okay. Rare, though. I'm surprised. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Potatoes. Hold on. I'll be right there. Boil them, mash them, chuck them in a stew. Will you relax? I'm coming. Oh, I feel like that's not Taylor. Oh, Ratto. Ah, uh, no, it's the it's the creepy lady. Angela, how the how? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Okay, she's a younger Angela. You talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Is that an old days version of John? Uh... I feel like if I confront... It'll lead to Amy being with oh, do not Amy. open that door. Do not let them take me, I beg you, husband. I am here to arrest your wife, Joseph. I have the legal warrant here. My wife has done nothing wrong. Yeah, that's an old days version of John. In tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Oh, the more I try to interact with the old days people, the olden days people, the more it'll make it look like they're doing witchcraft.
Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that devil stuff, but maybe not. Well, lookalike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. It's a spooky little girl. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What the fuck? What the hell is that? There are so many spooks here. So many spooks. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small town police stations all look the same. There's even a coffee machine. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Ooh, filing cabinet. <laughs> well, uh... That seems like it was a bit pointless. Hmm. Ooh, a locker. There's something in there. Reynolds. Little Hope Police Department. Cells. I've lost everything. Well, that sucks. Is that just the locker with the... yeah. Reynolds. <sighs> and this is a kitchen, a break room kind of thing, it would seem. Although it doesn't seem like there's anything to look at in here.
Here we go. Now we can really look around. Old Witch Jail. Built 1684. Really nice. Demolished 1783. In 1692, during the Little Witch... The Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Well, how about that? There's gotta be something. Hey, look, a phone. I'm not ready to examine it yet, though. I want to keep looking around a bit first. Keep looking. Yeah, yeah. Hold your horses, John. Certificate of Commendation presented to Little Hope Police Department. Oh. <sighs> On January 16, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, service at the officers with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and a grateful public thank the police department for their continued dedication to service. April 4th, 1972, Samuel A. Carver, Mayor. <sighs> Must be the fire from back at the start. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Oof. The radio's been cut. All right, let's go check out the phone. No, no, no. Don't want to exit. Not yet. I still got to check out the phone. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. No surprise there, really. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Uh, now I gotta find a phone cable. What's that? What's this? TC. Hippie artifacts, okay. I found a hippie artifact. How about that? Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. Is this thing somehow related to the- Oh, God! What is that? You gotta be kidding me, that thing's ringing now? Jesus. What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. I've done the falsely accused. I owe the 
What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? I'm gonna say nothing. Yikes. speak with you you cannot talk wait with our secrets. were those two eternal damnation were they the olden day do. versions of um we have an understanding do we not taylor and breathe daniel should you breathe a word or the edge of a word about the other things then i will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shut you now reverend let us begin enough time has gone begging go be with you kin I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants what the fuck? Innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? See what happens. I mean no offence, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbours. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. <laughs> I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Uh. Oh, who do I approach? Them. Thank you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Uh... Oh, God, I, I, I don't know what I should do. What more proof is needed that the devil wants Oh, to I've us. messed up big time. Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. Uh 
Oh, man. I should not have approached anyone. Ugh. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. This is wild. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. Then let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. How you doing? Not sure. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. It's Daniel and Taylor. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle! In three, two, one... <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused, tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? Going deeper into Little Hope. This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Okay, I am going to finish up the stream here. Uh, oh, I'm not really sure what to say. <laughs> this game is wild, this game is spooky, and I'm liking it a lot. So, thank you so much for stopping by, Emerald. Um, if anyone else stopped by during that with it and I didn't notice, thank you so much for stopping by, even though you didn't stay. And to anyone watching this after the stream, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll be wishing you a good day, a good night, 
and goodbye.